are halfway through May and it's time to get some planning done for the bee theme. It's really nice to be able to be adding some bees to our garden theme. I do plan on keeping a lot of my garden stuff up just because the kids have had so much fun with that. I want to incorporate our little bee friends including some different types of stinging insects. First off I've got my real images I'm going to put on the wall. I love having these up. The kids really do look at them and learn a lot from having the images on the wall. Next in our library, our read alouds will be doing the Honey Bee, Buzz Bee, which is a National Geographic book pre-reader, and Honey Bees, and then the Buzzy Bee book. These are going to be really fun to have in our library and to be reading with the kids. For circle time, I have a couple discussion posters. What do bees do and how do we collect honey? We can pull these out at morning discussion and have some good conversations and learn a lot about bees. And then also I have these cute props from teaching two and three year olds. These are going to be really great and go perfect with our Here is the Beehive, Where are the Bees songs. Uh, my favorite one is by the Kaboomers. I'll leave a link for that. The kids love dancing around with, with these props at the end of circle time. And I've also taken those same props from the prop packet and I've put some magnets on the back and then these will go really great on my magnet board and that'll be fun for the kids to be able to interact with and do some storytelling with those in their free choice time. And in my sensory bin I'm just going to add a, a basin of some uh, yellow water as if it were honey or nectar and give the children these little squeezers so that they can move the water in and out as if there were bees filling up the honeycomb. And for the play-doh I have gathered up any of the little hexagon shaped things that I could find and also some of these little plastic bees and then I'm going to pair them with these hexagon honeycomb play-doh mats and just let them have some fun squishing bees in to the play-doh using the different hexagon shapes give them some cutters and rollers and some things to work with and then also in the dramatic play I'm going to take a few things out of our floral shop keep some of the flowers but we are going to add a little honey stand so I have some signs for the wall and then also these little containers from the dollar store and I'll just put these labels on them and maybe put some like yellow pom-poms inside of these so they can pretend that they are selling honey at a honey stand. For some of our tabletop activities I have a game that we can play with as a group so all I've done was just print out a bunch of these flowers. I'll spread them around on the table. You could also do this on the carpet or the floor and they'll roll the dice and using a little insect as their game piece move that down the line and as a good counting game. And for this activity, this is how many bees, and this is just going to be a very basic counting and math activity. So I have some little bee manipulatives here, and I just want the kids to just count them out. So we're going to practice seeing how high they can count, and then I might be able to do some simple math equations for with the kids. We can count out how many bees, and then see how many they get when we take some away and add them, and just a nice little place to do some very simple math activities. These these are count 10 clip cards so they'll just take the beehive and clip the correct amount of bees onto the numbered beehive. These are cute little bees that I've made and I think I can use these for a few other activities. These are the flowers I made for my sensory bin in the garden theme and what I'll do is do a small group game or a one-on-one -on -one where I hold up a few of the letters, give the kids some of these bees and have them come and clip it on the letter sound. So I might say have your bee find the k sound and they can bring their b up and clip it on the right letter. So next we have stinging insect matching cards with some different types of bees and wasps and a hornet. So this would just be put in a basket as a free choice and they can pair these cards up. We can also play a matching game with those where we turn them over and find them like a matching memory game. These will be really great for discrimination and learning some of the terminology of these insects. In the writing center, I have some of these dry erase cards for pre-writing. I'll just pair those with some dry erase markers as well as a whole bunch of different coloring pages that I've made up. Some half sheets and some full sheets as well as the bee sticker page from teaching two and three year olds. And then this one I just thought would be fun for them to trace on the little bee lines. I've also made a little mini book where they can just simply color these pages. We can do this as a group activity or this is something I can leave as a free choice in the writing center. They love having 
having these little books to take home to read with their family. Also, as a writing activity, I have made this little honey writing tray and I've just put some food coloring with some caro syrup inside of this big ziplock and taped it to the tray. So this will just be an easy way for them to make some marks in there. You can pair it with some letter cards or the letter flowers. I might even just put this on my light table for them to have to explore and um, be even more interested in. So just a simple pre-writing or letter writing for letter writing practice. And for younger children, just a fun sensory activity. For our group art, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is just make a cute little bumblebee here with this paper plate. You could paint the paper plate yellow at first if you wanted to make this a two-part activity, but I just have these yellow plates and I'm just going to give the children the parts to glue on. So toddlers might just glue all of these things on to the top of the plate in kind of a random fashion but I think they'll still turn out adorable. It's such a good hand strength building activity, squeezing the big glue, and I think that these are going to be a lot of fun. And then next we're going to be making some bee props, and with this one I just have this template that I've printed on cardstock and cut out, and this is going to be a collaging activity. So I'm going to give them some wax paper and just kind of show them that this would go on the wing area, and then I have some colored tissue paper that I punched with a circle punch in black and yellow and I'm just going to let them collage that on any way they like with the glue stick. And then after that, they can get a nice big pair of Google eyes and then we will glue a jumbo craft stick onto the back and they can have fun playing with their bumblebee. And for this one, this is going to be a bee headpiece, I guess, if you will. So this long strip part is going to go around the head and then we'll glue this on the front. And I'm really just going to simply let them color these with black crayons. So they can color the, their bees up any way they like and then after that they're going to get some eyes and a little nose and then um, they can go have fun pretending to be bees buzzing around the room. So for this activity it's just going to be some hexagon stamping. I cut a few hexagons out of these foam pieces and glued it onto a little plastic cup. So they'll just dip these in the paint and then stamp it onto their paper. And the next day when those are dry I'll probably just give them some of these little puffy bug stickers and let them embellish that with those puffy stickers. They love these little puffy stickers and they always have a lot of fun with those. And then for this one, we're just going to be making some beeswax candles. I think it'd be good for them to be exposed to some of this natural beeswax and the way it smells. I will just help them put the wick inside and roll it up and make a nice little candle for them to take home. For this one, this is going to be a bubble wrap beehive. I'm just going to let them paint the bubble wrap either with this foam brush or a little roller and glue it onto the bigger sheet of paper. And when that that done I'm going to give them some yellow stickers for them to stick around as the little bees. They can decorate these little stickers and make their own little bees out of them with some eyes and some wings and some legs um, any way that they like with maybe just a fine tip felt marker. If you wanted to make this an even more elaborate project you could have them watercolor the sheet of paper instead of using a colored sheet of paper. So for our last activity this will be a cooking activity. These are just bee banana pops and we've just stuck a little piece of banana on on the end of this popsicle stick and dipped it in some vanilla yogurt and then drizzled a little bit of a Nutella on that. You could also use chocolate for these to make them even more tasty and maybe even a little uh, sliced almond or something for the wings. And then those go back in the freezer and that makes a nice little healthy snack that looks like a bee. So I hope you enjoyed planning with me for our bee theme. Stay tuned because my next video will be coming out very soon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.